Like much of the Midwest, Indiana was once underwater. What's behind me used to be a coral reef. This is the story of Indiana's hanging rock. On the windswept banks of the Wabash River, there stands a massive ancient coral reef. Hanging Rock, as it is now known, was formed out of the ancient remains of many different types of shelled organisms. The history of this national landmark would go back approximately 400 million years ago, during an age called the Silurian. During this time, a warm, shallow sea covered most of what would eventually become North America's Midwest. Many of Earth's primitive life forms, such as sponges, lived quite happily during this era. Many of them would begin to group together, forming coral reefs. As those reefs became larger, they would begin to poke out above the surface of the water, forming mounds and eventually islands. Mud from the seafloor would eventually bury all of these reefs, and over several million years they would be compressed into hard rock. During Earth's last great ice age, giant glaciers would then cover all of these reefs, burying them beneath the surface. Hanging rock would have remained buried if it weren't for the massively violent event known as the Miao Mi Torrent. It was 13,000 years ago when a massive torrent of water carved through the Wabash River Valley. It cut up the glaciers and exposed what was underneath. Because of this and erosion over the next 10,000 years, the full coral reef has been lost. The central and northern part of the reef is gone, leaving Hanging Rock as the only reminder of its existence. On May 23rd of 1986, the Department of Interior had declared that Hanging Rock was a national landmark. This is due not only to its geological significance, but that of its cultural significance as well. There are many stories, poems, urban legends, and songs that center around Hanging Rock. One of the more famous ones tells a tale of two Native Americans that were fighting over a young woman. The bloody battle eventually ended when one of the fighters was thrown clear off the rock. However, that fighter was the one the young woman was truly in love with. She would eventually throw herself off of the rock so she could be with him in eternity. Hanging Rock is currently maintained by the Acres Land Trust, an organization that was founded in March of 1960 in order to help maintain and protect natural landmarks across the Midwest. In 2009, Acres made improvements on the parking lot and the trail leading to the Hanging Rock, making it even easier for people to visit this national landmark. Graffitied bodies and fuzzy sounds The band found their fans underground I have no ink to display Hanging Rock is a really incredible part of Indiana's history and the history of ancient North America and it will never be forgotten Truth, and that was almost enough. You and I were two doves making no money, young and in love, making.
I stuck ink into my arm that night This thing was worth your delight You let your body 